good morning children today we are going to start the next class and in our last class you learned how to add two numbers isn't it in today's class we are going to learn word problems in the first question we are having uh, one question is given on the board we can read the question sara has three toys and aaron has four toys sara has three toys and aaron has four toys how many toys do they have in all you are asked to find the total number of toys they have how many toys sara is having she is having three toys and how many toys aaron is having he is having four toys okay now since the question is given in statement in sentence we have to write the answer also in sentence here three spaces are given to write the statements i will tell you how to write the statements once again please have a look at the board children sara has three toys isn't it so here number 3 is given in the second question number 4 is given so we can say that in both the cases some number is given isn't it and number of what is given children sara is having what she is having uh, dolls she is having apples no she is having three toys what about aaron what aaron is having does he have any oranges with him any apples no he is having four toys okay now we can start writing the statements the first and second statement we we'll start with the word number n u m b e r number of number of what number of toys number of toys and in the first case sara is having three toys so in the first statement we have to write number of toys sara has i repeat here it is given sara has three toys here one number is given isn't it so our statement will start with the word number of and here since after the number 3 which is the next word coming it's toys she is having three toys so here you must write number of toys and here sara is having three toys so number of toys sara has and you have to write that number here number 3 you have to write in the first line now comes the second one aaron has four toys aaron has four toys here this is equal to 3 okay aaron has four toys now again we have to start the statement with the word number of again number of what is given children aaron is having what aaron is having toys so number of toys aaron has is equal to how many toys aaron is having four now so once again the first and the second statement will start with number of again you have to write the thing which is given in the question here toys are given so you have to write the word as toys number of toys and the last statement the last statement will start with the word total total number of total means we are taking it together you are asked to find how many toys they have in all they have together uh, sara and aaron is having how many toys together so you have to write the word 
total number of the last statement and here as it is toys so you have to write total number of toys as I told you we are taking the number of toys Aaron has a number of toys uh, Sarah has together when we take it together what we have to do we have to add and in last day you learned vertical addition isn't it children in vertical addition where we are putting the plus sign before the first number or before the second number we have to write it before the second number yes so put plus symbol here now we are going to add 3 and 4 we are going to add it now what we had learned last day your bigger number must be in your mind and smaller must be in your fingers which is a smaller number here the smaller number is 3 and the bigger number is 4 so 4 in your mind and 3 in your fingers now start counting after 4 after 4 5 6 7 once again 4 in your mind and 3 in your fingers so after 4 5 6 7 so you have to write the answer 7 here and you have to underline your answer is it clear once again I will say in the, when you write the answer for the statement problems the first and second statements must start with the word number of and the last statement might start with total number of and the remaining you have to write according to the question we can discuss some more examples second question I have four apples my sister has two apples how many apples do we have in all you are asked to find the total number of apples so we can start writing the first statement as I told you the first statement will start with the word number of number of and here the number 4 is given and after 4 which is the word children it's apples so number of apples I have 4 apples who is having 4 apples I have isn't it so we have to write it write your number of apples I have is equal to 4 now what is the second sentence children my sister has two apples my sister is having two apples so again the second statement it also start with the word number of again the number of apples is given so you have to write number of apples who is having apples the second sentence what is written my sister has two apples isn't it so number of apples my sister has which number you have to write your children sister is having two apples so write the number two over there now the last statement the last statement will start with which word it will start with the word total because here we are asked to find how many apples do we have in all that is you have to find the total number of apples so write here total t o t a l total number of apples to find the total number what we have to do children we have to add we have to add this 4 and 2 so for that you have to put the plus symbol plus sign must be written here then you have to add it what is 4 plus 2 4 in your mind 2 in your fingers because here among 4 and 2 4 is the bigger number and 2 is the smaller number so 4 in your mind and 2 in your fingers count after 4 after 4 5 6 so write 6 so we can say that total number of apples is 6 ok we can check one more example the last question 
there are six mice in a room and two mice in another room how many mice are there in all you are asked to find the total number of mice mice means what children mouse right? it's the plural of mouse now uh, we can write the first statement in the first one what is written in, in a room there are how many mice there are six mice and in the second room we are having two mice so can we start writing the statements okay the first statement will start with the word number of number of what is given 6 is what 6 is the number of mice so you write number of mice in a room how many are there 6 and two mice in another room so second statement number of again mice number of mice in another room in one room we are having 6 and in the another room we are having two mice so you have to write the number two so first statement number of mice in a room second statement number of mice in another room now what should we write in the last line we have to find the total number of mice it's written how many mice are there in all in all that means we have to find the answer that is how a total number of mice so here we can write the statement total number of mice again to find the total number to find the answer we have to add the given numbers here the given numbers are 6 and 2 so put plus symbol here you can find the answer what is 6 plus 2 children which is a bigger number bigger number is 6 and the smaller number is 2 So six in your mind and two in your fingers. Count after six. After six, seven, eight. So write your answer here. So okay, after writing the answer, you can draw two lines over there. Okay. So children, similar questions will be there in your worksheet also. So try to write the answers by yourself. Okay. Thank you.